get rid of this thing down here. Alter option to get rid of that. So it's a bit of a work, and you know, it's a lot of work to do this. But if you look at her hair right there, I'm going to zoom in on that by holding on the Z key and dragging this. How do we deal with the hair? And what I suggest is that you not you don't try to get to the edge of the hair when you're trying to make selections here. In fact, where the selection right now is is fine, because you don't want to try to get all that. You want to use the Refine Edge tool to do that. So this is an introduction to the Refine Edge tool. Go up here, click on this, and then click the Refine Edge tool. So you click that little triangle in the right-hand corner to open it up, and click on the Refine Edge tool. And that's a different brush. You notice it looks different. Hold down the uh, Control key and drag it right. You'll see it's a purple, put over the yellow light, it's a purple circle with a plus. Hold on to the Alter the Option, and it's a dark blue circle with a minus. So with the plus, you're adding to the refine edge, and with the minus, you're subtracting. And you switch the view here to the X-ray view. It's called the X-ray view. Where are you? I maybe mean, won't do it until I start drawing. So I want to draw right along the boundary there to include the frizzy hair there, right there. I'm drawing right there. Just a little spot. And that's the X-ray view that I was trying to turn on a second ago, which doesn't show up until you use the refine edge tool. There's the X-ray view there. And that shows you how the results are going to be. I go a little bit farther to pick up these last little strands there. And that's, we've now selected that hair. I've got one more little thing here, I think. We'll add to that. And that's called Refine Edge. And if you go to the composition to see how that works, I'm going to see how the hair shows up there. That is really a pretty good thing. And you refine that over here inside the rotor brush and Refine Edge effect. Because once you start using it, then you get these options down here for the refined edge. So right there it says render refined edge. That's a given, right? If I turn it off, watch what happens to the hair here. It gets flat looking, right? So that's, that's the refined edge tool doing its job. And then there's some things that you can do down here to work with that. Well, we'll see that in more detail in the next one. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Jeff Sangstack, an Adobe Certified Expert and the Lead Instructor here at BlueEffects.net. If you want to watch this entire video lesson, as well as other live classes and After Effects crash courses, then I invite you to check out the Blue Effects After Effects Academy. Just click the link below this video to find out what we've prepared for you in the After Effects Academy.